Have you ever wanted to build with a block like dirt, but it ends up looking like this? Well, I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Oh my goodness, guys. You guys really showed through here. That video did so well, okay? So we're going to do a part two. Now, you may have noticed I've actually removed the birch logs, and that is because I think it, it goes well enough with the diorite that I don't think it needs to be explained. So we're going to go ahead and grab our dirt, and let's try building with dirt. Alright, I went ahead and gave myself that one chunk of space that I always do. But today, I want to try doing this a little bit differently than last time. I want to make out the shape first, and then we can go ahead and add our texturing, add our detail, and make it look all pretty. Just because I want to I wanna see how shape can really affect a build. Alright, so we're going to start with a nice little box. It's going to grow all into grass here, but we can worry about that later. Alright, so I kind of want to do something fun where it, like, curves inward. Well, not inward, but... It makes this this odd shape and i think this might be a way to go and then since this is really flat we can go ahead and add a chimney and a patio in the back so with that we're gonna go ahead and raise it up give it a roof like that or more of a framing if you will and we're gonna go ahead and fill in all these walls all right we've got the basic shape of this house here now i want to go ahead and add all of the fun bits on the sides all right so we've got our chimney we've got our backyard patio and we've got our front yard patio thing i'm not sure exactly what they're called but that's what they that's what i'm calling them <laughs> um but yeah so we've got our shape here and i'm actually quite liking it it's it's very it's very medieval i'll say in my head at least i and i kind of like that so i think we're gonna stick to that so we are going to mark out some shrubbery around and a tree or two so now we're gonna do the texturing all right i've laid my my palette out a little bit weird today but it works so i think now is a good time to start texturizing that's not a word is it i think it's a word Oh well, yeah, I have no clue. <laughs> and I'm not gonna bother to search it up. All right, everybody, so we got the main walls all textured up. Now I did put some spruce outlining on the roof. Now, for anyone who's, who's using this as a tutorial, I do not recommend building in this way. And I'll touch on that in the next build and we'll do a smarter way there. But what I wanted to do was I wanted to just prove to you that, that the shape can really can really matter. And I think I think it has. I think it, it's looking good so far. We've got our texturing. Now we're going to use different blocks here and there. Like this is probably going to be stone even though I did texture it at first. It was just a little bit hard for me to differentiate the different areas of this build just because it, it was all built out of dirt. So again, that's the reason I, it was not very smart of me to do that. But we're going to figure it out, okay? So let's go ahead and get some more color palettes and all that and finish texturizing this build. I'm going to keep saying texturizing. I don't even care if it's a real word or not. All right, everybody. So we have put in some more colors here. We've got the roof being that green color from before, uh, but just more natural and more like in tune with nature, I guess. I don't know. We've got this uh, deep slate chimney. I think it looks good. And then we've got these two little uh, shades, I guess. I don't know what they're called, um, but I'm probably going to move this into the ground uh, just because there's not much room and it's kind of awkward. But yeah, I'm really liking the nature vibe of this. I think it is really cute and pretty. So let's bring it all together and let's get the details done. All right, we have a finished build here. I think this came up pretty nicely. I basically took those trees, made them a bit bigger and kind of just stuck them here. <laughs> but yeah, I do. I do love this build quite a bit i love the uh, the nature vibes it, it has so that is that for the dirt house now let's go ahead and move on to the netherrack this is gonna be tough all right so we've got a nice chunk here to work with so i'm thinking we do a simple witch hut vibe similar to what i built in this video on screen if you want to go check it out you can but if you don't here's some pictures of it on screen 
I quite like that and I think this netherrack block will work nicely in this situation and I'm thinking some mushrooms coming off of it similar to how I did in that video as well might be a nice way to go. So as you can see here I'm using wool just to mark things out. I think using things in different colors is, is a much better way to mark out your shapes than I did over there with using just the solid dirt. That was it was not fun to work with that so I definitely suggest using different colors making it obvious what's what so we're gonna make our house a bit of a fun shape here where it goes out and then it in goes inward for the roof so we've got our shape here and then we can go ahead and add ourselves a roof all right just like that we have a nice shape going on here where it goes out points up kind of curves right i think that works wonderfully so let's go ahead and get ourselves a color palette going all right i think we've got a nice lovely group of blocks here i've added the black glazed terracotta just because it also has that red in there and i think it's those two colors combined will just give the effect of a darker block which i think is really cool but i want to go ahead and actually mark out the roof shape properly because i feel like that's important <laughs> all right i think the shape kind of sells what i'm trying to go for where it goes like it swoops down and kind of goes up like that i don't know it's a bit odd but i think it works well all right everybody with that let's go ahead and add these blocks in Alright, I'm not so sure how I'm liking the red. Red is a pretty bold color. It might be because of the context of this blue outline for the roof, but I did also add some crimson stem just to neutralize the netherwort block, and I think it worked pretty well. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, and I quite like it a lot. With that, let's get on to making the roof because I don't know what's going on with the blue. <laughs> Alright everybody, we got the roof going. So I think it's it's pretty cool. Um it's very like over over corroded, I guess is the word. Um, but I quite like it. If I had to change anything about it, I'd probably make this overhang come out one, but I just cannot be bothered at the moment. So we're just gonna deal with it. But yeah, I'm really liking the shape of it. Um it's got that nice curve, that swoop. And then it's also got like these these like parts that are all crooked and whatnot. So it's got character. But I mean, that's about all I have to say. So let's go ahead and get the details in. All right, everybody. So we have our netherrack house done. It's kind of desaturated, but I do like kind of the darker vibe that it's giving off we got the mushrooms and and all that i i really quite like the way this has turned out i also put carpets on top of this so let me know if you think that looks good or not i'm very much not sure if this works or not but we'll see also i added in the birch logs just because we skipped out on them and also they fit but yeah i am really 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 liking this build it's got an amazing shape in my opinion and you got that a taller mushroom in the background, the shorter mushroom in the foreground, which I think is really interesting and fun. And I really, really like the way all these blocks have come together. I think it's just, it's a lovely house, okay? I like it. It's cool, in my opinion. I think these two are some amazing builds. I think we definitely went more into the nature vibe with both of them. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you did enjoy, consider liking and consider subscribing. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.